God bless you, and thank you for joining us. I'm Minister Billy Burton, and welcome to Sunday School Insights. This audio teaching series is an evangelistic tool brought to you by Inspirational Minutes Ministries International, Advocatus Ecclesia Publishing, and Ministry Outpost. We hope and pray that these lessons will reach those who, for whatever the reason, either can't or won't come to a Bible study, a Sunday school class, or a traditional church service. Subscribe to our channel here on YouTube and then follow us on Facebook where you can read your Bible lessons faithfully each week. Our Facebook link is conveniently posted below. Our background music, Worlds Away, is provided by the artistic genius of Jay Mann at www.ourmusicbox.com. Again, we thank you for joining us, and Sunday School Insights begins now. We're excited to announce that we are releasing an additional teaching series called Understanding the Tithe. It's scheduled to be available to you by the first week of July 2020 and will deal with many of the questions that you've been asking for years concerning tithes and the church but never received an answer. Prepare your hearts, your ear gates, and your minds for what you've been asking for, as it is our hope and prayer that you will be able to digest the meat that will be fed to you in the new teaching series, Understanding the Tithes. But for now, let's experience Sunday School Insights. This week's lesson is entitled, Samson Against the Philistines. Our scriptures are found in the book of Judges, chapter 15, verses 9 through 20. We open this week's lesson looking in on Samson, who had just had an argument with his in-laws concerning his wife, and not being able to see her or the child. Her father had actually given her away to another man, and now expected Samson to take her younger sister as a replacement. Needless to say, Samson was highly upset, so he caught 300 foxes, set their tails on fire, and released them into the cornfields of the Philistines. This also burned up vineyards and olives. In turn, the Philistines burned Samson's wife and her father. But Samson found the ones that did this and killed them. Rage sets things in motion that never ends well. 3,000 men of Judah, after hearing about the incident, went looking for Samson, finding him and asking him why he caused problems with the Philistines, reminding him that they were afraid of the Philistines and didn't want any trouble. Samson told them why he had set the fields on fire, but they told him, We've come to restrain you and deliver you directly to the Philistines. They said, we won't kill you ourselves, but we are taking you to them. Right when Samson was turned over to the Philistines, and they began to shout and threaten him, the Spirit of God came powerfully upon him. And all of the ropes that had his arms and wrists bound now seemed like small strings to him, and they all easily broke loose. There was a jawbone of a donkey laying near, and Samson grabbed it and went off on them, killing a thousand of them before he was done. He threw the jawbone down and called the place Ramath Lehi, meaning jawbone hill. But at that point, the power of the Spirit of God left him, and he was himself again and very thirsty from the fight. Samson called on the Lord, praising him for victory and deliverance, saying also that he didn't want to die of thirst and be carried away by the heathen uncircumcised Philistines. But God created a spot in the same jawbone 
and water begin to run out. After drinking and becoming rehydrated, Samson named the jawbone experience in Hakor, meaning fountain of him that prayed. Samson was now a judge over Israel, raised up by God for 20 years in the days of the Philistines. We ask that you follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channels. Give some devotional time to our new teaching series called Understanding the Tithe. Come back and join us here again next week, God willing, for another lesson of Sunday School Insights. Our background music, You On My Mind, was composed and performed by Jay Mann at www.ourmusicbox.com. God bless you.